cozy countryside getaway from the city hustle. An idea ruined for some Americans by the negative effects of a fracking boom. In places like Texas, the ground drilling technology has become a proven way to boost corporate profits. But as Guinness Jacquin finds out, it's the landowners who pay the price. The local government in Texas tells Steve Lipsky that the water from his well, water that he can set on fire, is safe to drink and to use in his home. Would you pump that into your house? Would you drink it? But Steve has the assessment of other experts who say his well is a ticking bomb in his backyard, loaded with methane and other contaminants. Why the starkly different assessments? Steve claims that a fracking operation nearby contaminated his well and that Texas energy authorities are shielding the gas company. They don't want the world to know that it really is this bad. They don't want it in official documents. It could be that the fracking allowed gas from lower formations into the aquifer and subsequently into Steve Lipsky's well. The gas company denies the claim. The Lipskys sued the Range Resources Corporation, but the firm countersued and won. And cause and effect evidence in groundwater is incredibly difficult to prove. Mario Salazar is an engineer who worked with the Federal Environmental Protection Agency. He is not surprised that the state oil and gas regulator sided with the gas corporation. The agency that derives its income and survival from oil and gas production is usually put in, in charge of also regulating the protection of groundwater from oil and gas wells. And there's an inherent conflict of interest in that. Determined to fight for his home, father of three, Steve, has been shipping fresh water from the city on trucks at a cost of $500 a month. But the family now faces another blow from the fracking corporation, a $4.2 million lawsuit for defamation. Steve Lipsky's dream house, and it's a beautiful property, has become his nightmare. Several of his neighbors apparently have the same problem, but they're reluctant to speak out after they saw how the gas company went after Mr. Lipsky. They shouldn't expect much help from Washington either. Mario Salazar says the Environmental Protection Agency has not put nearly enough resources into studying the effects that fracking has on groundwater. But that didn't stop the EPA from coming up with a report in favor of the practice. The Lipskis were advised to vent the gas constantly to keep it from accumulating under their property as their neighboring gas well continues to frack. It's 5,000 feet deep. We're pretty much standing right on top of it. A hundred years from now when somebody dies because there's some contaminant in the water and they're able to trace it to this fracking, everybody else is dead. Who cares? And that's their philosophy. But now it seems that the authorities at all levels are so fired up on fracking's potential profits that households like Steve Lipsky's family are left to fight alone to get a healthy environment in their homes. Guy check on RT, Parker County, Texas.